Hello students, in this session you are going to learn chapter 6, Control Structures. So here, in this video, you are going to learn what is nesting loop. A loop placed within another loop is called as nested loop structure. One can place a while within another while, for within another for, for within while and while within for. That means we can combine any of the looping structure with one another. If a, if a loop is present inside another loop then it is said to be nested loop just like the nested if if within a if is called nested if loop within a loop is called nested loop here i have given the example here a for is within another for here while is within a uh, for is within a while here while is within a while so we'll see the explanation how it works outer thing is said to be outer loop and the inner thing is said to be inner loop here both are while loop here both are for loop here outer loop is a while and inner loop is a for so this is the working nature of the uh, loop nested loop here i equal to 1 while i less than or equal to 5 this is the first outer loop next it is j equal to 1 y j less than or equal to i print j end, end with slash t that is a tab space then j equal to j plus 1 so from y this from this line this line this line and this this is our inner loop So the blue color are outer loop. Is it clear children? So from J to J plus 1 is inner loop. I while and print I these are all outer loop. Now we will see the working principle. First outer loop I equal to 1. I less than or equal to 5. First the condition is true because I is 1. I less than or equal to 5 condition true. If the condition true means it will has to go for the inner loop. When the inner loop gets false, it will go for the increment. Then it go for the outer loop in uh, condition checking. We will see. First the outer loop condition is true. So now it is asking j equal to 1, j less than or equal to i. The condition is j 1 less than or equal to 1. Here i also 1, j also 1. So condition is true. Am I right? 1 less than or equal to 1 is true. If the condition is true, it has to print j and slash t. So i is printed and it, the cursor will come here. Next j equal to j plus 1. So j is 2. Then it is asking for j less than or equal to 2 j is 1 so 1 less than or equal to 2 means the condition is false am i right 1 less than or equal to 2 is condition false if the condition gets false it has to move to the outer loop here the outer loop is n slash n so this cursor will come here cursor will blink here then i plus i equal to i plus 1 so now i increased to the value 2 okay as 1 previously it was 1 so 1 plus 1 2 now it is asking for the condition i is less than or equal to 5 means less than 5 so condition is true so when the outer loop gets increment once inner loop starts from the beginning just like j equal to 1 j less than or equal to i that means 1 less than or equal to 2 so condition is true or false yes the condition is true true means print j 
So, 1 is printed. Okay. Next, j equal to j plus 1. So, j equal to 2. j 2 less than or equal to 2. Yes, it is not less but equal to 2. So, condition is true. True means print j. j is printed. Next, j equal to 3. 3 less than or equal to 2. Condition is false. So, cursor will blink here. Because it said false, print slash, uh, print slash n. So, it has to come for the next. Then, i equal to i plus 1. So, again, for the outer loop. Now, it is asking for i less than 3. Uh, sorry, i equal to 3. i less than or equal to 5. Yes. So, again, starts with the inner loop. j equal to 1. j less than or equal to i means j1 is less than or equal to 3. So, condition is true. So, i is printed. Next, j get increment 2 less than or equal to 3 condition is true. So, 2 is printed. Then, 3 less than or equal to 3, 3 is printed. Then, this condition is false. So, again it will go for the outer loop i equal to 4 again i less than 5 so j 1 is less than or equal to 4 condition is true so next it will do like this how far it will go when it princes the 5 i equal to equal to 5 the last condition then this get false then the outer loop i equal to 6 i less than or equal to 5 the outer loop gets false after that, it will stop execution. We will see the example. See the function i equal to 1 while i less than or equal to 5. j equal to 1, j less than or equal to i. Print j and slash t. j equal to j plus 1. So, these are all inner loop. For the output, but you have to practice this manually, then only you will get a clear idea. Instead of why you make it as 6 or make it as 4, then you do this calculation. Then you never forget what is while loop or for loop, what is nested loop. So, we can have the same program with while within for. Same while, instead of this inner while loop, I have changed to for loop. So, for j, I, j in range of 1, I print j, same thing, only this increment part and the initialization is not here because for will have everything in one line. Same output, okay. So, we can have the same program with for within for also. Same program. Same three outputs. Okay. I hope you understood the nested looping. Thank you children. Have a good day.